Have you been involved in a takeover? Did you take over the identity of something that is controlled by another? Well, we all know that we didn't come out of our mother's womb with a legal state birth certificate tattooed onto our bottom. But it appears that we act in a manner as if that is the case. But when we look at things closely, we can start to see what was really happening. Um, there are sovereignty movements, patriot sovereignty movements. They're w widespread. They're like a virus against not only the legal system, because these parties operate legal. They don't know who they are. And then at the same time, um, they are basically rebelling even against God if you took it from their direction and their actions in a spiritual sense. So they actually are in opposition to both sides, which makes them absolutely a big problem. And it's a big problem when you go onto their sites where they say you're going to capture or take over a birth certificate. Now, when we look up the word takeover in Black's Law 4th, has a very concise definition for takeover, and it says to assume control or management of, not necessarily involving the transfer of absolute title. Well, we already know that when we're talking about legal rights or granted legal personhood, there is no absolute, it's conditional. Um, those legal rights that you have taken on or have assumed can be repealed and removed at the whims of the lawyers who write those laws that they basically don't really want to focus on is legal. Because law is what's laid down and established. Legal has more of the concept of to collect. So it's a really big collection agency for the lawyers when you actually use their invention because this is what moves around the monopoly board and you are just the holder who doesn't even realize this is not you so we go to the word take up now jesus said to take up your cross and come follow him in scripture but uh the word cross was mistranslated in that scripture because the word was actually from the Greek word storos, which meant stake. So it would be much easier to understand the scripture now, take up your stake and come follow him, because you have a stake in with Christ because he purchased you. He basically put his life up in advance so that your soul is basically his property, not that of the state. They may have the legal persona of fiction. They may have what is deemed to be the legal body corporate, uh, the temporal symbol, symbolization of a body, but Christ has your soul, your spirit. And uh, therefore, when we look up, take up, it says to pay or discharge a note. It says also sometimes to purchase a note. It says to retire a negotiable instrument, to discharge one's liability on it, said particularly of an endorser or acceptor. Well, you really didn't endorse the note by your signature because you didn't basically issue this or print this or make this. This came from a source that was before you even had a say. Um, more like the term we'll deal with later, non as factum. But to take up uh, your, your stake and come follow Christ, you would have to accept Christ, which would in turn cancel out all legal indebtedness. So therefore, it would be like the surname does not exist. It's canceled out because legalism came to an end on the event of Christ's death because he canceled out all legal indebtedness according to Colossians 2, 13 to 15. You may want to check some of the versions other than the King James if you go on to sites like Bible Hub. So we'll leave it at that, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.